Dimensional analysis notes. Uh, the dimensional analysis is just converting from one unit to another. So if you see the example here, we have one dollar equals four quarters, which equals ten dimes, which equals twenty nickels, which equals a hundred pennies. Um, really, it's anything that is equal to each other. So you could say sixty minutes equals one hour, sixty seconds equals one minute. Um, any of the case may be with that. So it's just taking something that you already know how to do and just writing it out in a very specific manner for math. So our first example that we have down here on the bottom is Mary worked 43,200 seconds this week. How many hours did Mary work this week? So the first thing you're always going to want to do with these is write down what's given to you. So we have 43,200 seconds. On your test that's going to be worth one point just writing down what's given to you. We always are going to follow the same process here, times and a line. We want to cancel out the unit seconds since that's what we're starting in. So we're going to put seconds down below. And we're asked how many hours did Mary work, so we're going to put hours up top. Always ask yourself what's bigger, an hour or a second. Obviously an hour is bigger, so we do one. Now we need to know how many seconds are in an hour. There are 60 minutes in an hour, each with 60 seconds. So we do 60 times 60, and we get 3,600 seconds. So now, to solve this math problem, you multiply across the top. So 43,200 times one. And we're going to divide by everything below the line, which is the 3,600 seconds. So basically, we're doing 43,200 divided by 3,600. And when we do that, we're going to get 12 hours. Always make sure you write not only your answer, but the units for your answer if you want full credit as we go through the test. Our next example is going to be using the number of students. So it's actually going to give us the conversion problem in the problem. So it says, an experiment requires that each student uses 8 grams of baking soda. That's our conversion factor. Every one student needs 8 grams of baking soda. It says, if a full container of baking soda holds 340 grams, how many students? So we're going to start in grams, and we want to end in students. So the number that we're going to start with is 340 grams. And we're going to write times in a line. We know we want to get rid of grams, so grams is going to go on the bottom. And we want students up top. I'm just going to put S for students. In the problem, it says every one student needs 8 grams. So that's our conversion factor that we write out. Again, 340 times 1, multiplying across the top, dividing by 8. So it's 340 divided by 8. It's going to be 42 and a half. Now, because it wants a number of students, we can't have half a student, so we're just going to round down always. So 42 and a half is 42 students. The final example for dimensional analysis uses density. There's two different ways you can do this. You could use density equals mass divided by volume, the way we've done in class, and solve for it that way. I'm going to show you how to do it the dimensional analysis way. The problem says that the density of mineral oil is 0.835 grams per centimeter cube. That's a conversion factor. I know that's a conversion factor because there are two units in there for density. What 0.835 grams per centimeter cube means is there are 0.835 grams in every one centimeter cube. So that's my conversion factor. Now we're asked, what is the mass in grams of a sample of mineral oil that has a volume of 2.5 centimeters cube? So I'm going to start, I'm going to write 2.50 centimeters cube times line. I need to get rid of centimeters cubed, so it goes on the bottom. I put grams up top because that's what I want to go to. Our conversion factor again, 0.835 grams for every one centimeter cube. That's what that means. Notice now, one's below the line, so that's what we're going to divide by. So really what this is is 2.50 times 0.835. You get like 2.0875. I'm just going to round it and call it 2.09 grams.